Hi, in this video, we are going to discuss about what is ethical hacking. So this ethical hacking is a very important field in a computer security, which is used to refer the system vulnerabilities and compromising the security control to gain unauthorized access to the system resource. So in hacking, it actually involves modifying system or application features to achieve a goal outside to the purpose. So that means this hacking which is involved your application like which is used to access your application from the outside not from the inside servers. So when hacking can be done if in your website or in your application if hacking can be done the people can able to steal or get the data or uh, the entire uh, business details from your server. So when you are going for uh, hacking on computer networks and all, it is generally done by scripting languages like Python scripting, JavaScript, like this kind of scripting language is used to access those things. And your network hacking, which is actually include virus, vulnerability, and it's performed BOS. That means denial of service attacks. And it's used to establish the unauthorized remote access, which is used to connect two different devices. Okay, so when you are connecting two different devices, we need some botnets or packet sniffing or phishing or password cracking tools or some kind of projects are all needed to make a communication between two different devices. So this is what actually hacking is. So why we need hacking? Like when it comes to uh, like stealing the information that are not hacking means why we actually need hacking? Because if we are able to hack our system means so some kind of security issues are there. So to increase the security in your website or in your application, we need ethical hacking. So this ethical hacking is also known as penetration testing or pen testing, which is used to break into the computer or network or the particular organization server legally. Okay. So if I am breaking into someone's system means that is legal. If I am breaking to my computer or if I am breaking to my company's computer means that is legal. So legally I am accessing that system. So I can able to come to know where I need to increase the security. So for this purpose, we, we need an uh, ethical hacking. So hacker, so who is hacker? That person who can able to enter into the other network without any authentication or without any user access, that person is known as hacker. So the person, hacker, it is a person who can able to break any kind of security wall and they can able to perform any kind of malicious attacks. And one more thing is the person who enjoys to learn everyday new, new things, that is the person who is known as hacker. And a hacker needs to know about all the programming language and a hacker needs to be expert in using the tools and a hacker needs to be always upgrade their skills. So the reason we are hacking is increasing the security and it is used to prevent our sensitive data from falling from the enemy's hand. So if you are able to access your server means you will come to know like what are the black holes is there and you will increase the security level. So for this purpose, we are going ahead with the hacking. So what are the different kind of hacking classes available? So when you are going for hackers, so there are a different kind of hackers are available. So black hat hacker, white hat hacker, gray hat hacker, suicide hacker, hacker, script digital, cyber terrorist, state sponsored hackers and hacktivists. In this black hat hacker is someone who is extraordinary computer skills for illegal stuff. Okay. He is an individualist. He is not, uh, black hat hackers usually don't hire from any company. So he, he or she used to deal everything illegally. Okay. So this is in criminal activities. So this black hat hacker, usually they known as a cracker as well. So white hat hacker is the person who's known as a penetration testers. 
so it is an legal so who is hired by some company and they are going to handle everything they are going to increase the security analysis and who's having an entire access for the network and who's having an entire access to the malicious attack who's having a permission to do everything on their application or on their server is the person who's known as white hat hacker it's 100 percent legal so when it comes to gray hat hacker the gray hat hacker also individual who can able to work offensively or defensively at various times who may be fall into white or black hat hackers they may be a white hat hacker or they may be a black hat hacker so this is what gray hat hackers the person who knows software and hardware both hacking that person is known as gray hat hacker then suicide hacker which is known as individual who aim to bring down critical infrastructure for a cause and are not worried about facing even this punishments like going for a jail terms and all even they won't care about those people are known as suicide hackers scripting it is which is known as the people who don't have any skill but they will run their uh, systems based on some tools or some softwares by the people who are real hackers so those people are known as scriptities so cyber terrorist is the person who is going to uh, make some religion or political belief and which is going to disruption of computer networks state sponsored hacker means the hackers which is hired by government those people are known as state sponsored hackers hacktivists that is nothing but an hackers It, 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 they may be into hobbyist or they may into government or they may into corporate or they are into some protest so this person is known as your hacktivist usually uh, the person who belongs to corporate or government that per person is known as hacktivist so when you are going for this hacking we are having a different different phases so we need to handle all these phases so to go ahead with your hacking so these phases are very important to start with the hacking so phase one is reconnaissance scanning gaining access maintaining access clearing terms so the first term which is used to refer the phase which is attacker gather much information as possible so if i am going to attack some network means the very first thing is i need to gather the information about the system or something so gathering an information so that's what footprinting is so reconnaissance that's other name is footprinting so when an attacker is using a passive footprinting techniques he or she does not interact with the target directly okay so they will uh, come to know about the particular network or particular uh, organization based on some public information so that's what your footprinting is so the second term is scanning when it comes to scanning this is nothing but the phase which is used to precede the attack the attackers use the details which is used to gather based on footprinting to scan the network for specific information scanning is a logical extension of active footprinting and in fact some experts do not differentiate scanning from the active footprinting okay so scanning that is nothing but more in depth you are just going to get the details about the system by the target device itself one attacker can gather critical network information such as mapping of system routers and firewalls sorry firewalls by using a simple tool such as uh, some windows utility trash root or uh, some basic linux commands by using all those things they can able to access the uh, details of the particular machines so ip address mac address everything they can able to copy it gaining an access so gaining an access that is nothing but now i have gathered the information and what i can able to do is i can able to start to access the particular target system gaining access that is nothing but which is used to refer to the point where the attacker obtain access to the operating system or application on the computer or network so if attacker gain the access means at the operating system level or the application level or network level 
the attacker can able to damage the system or they can able to gather that information or they can able to do anything so gaining an access to the target system we can able to gain by offline or lan or over the internet we can able to gain access by any method when you are going for the next maintaining access means if once if i access some system means i need to hold the ownership of the particular system so holding the ownership again we need to uh, able to use the system and its resource and we can able to launch some scan or exploit in this particular system so we need to access the network traffic or ftp or we need to access the ip address everything we need to maintain and then clearing tracks once uh, the um, access and all done once this uh, hacking and all done what and all the information we need to do once it's and all done means we need to clear our activities where other hackers can't able to understand what is exactly happening so this this and all the hacking phase so when you were going for this uh, scope of hacking see like if you can able to identify the risk in your network then only you can able to go for the actions like what are the kind of uh, security stuff you want to implement that and all we can able to highlight after if you identify the risk so to identify the risk in a particular application or network we need some hackers to do analysis so those analysis is known as ethical hacking so it's not a crime ethical hacking is we can able to access that uh, systems based on some permissions so when you are getting an hacker or a penetration tester as a role it will actually reduce the information communication uh, cost by resolving your vulnerabilities so resolving vulnerabilities will always reduce the uh, maintaining cost and it will always give the securities uh, things more so ethical hacking is something which is handled by some hacker so when it comes to this ethical hacker they needs to be aware of technical skill and non technical skills as well when it comes to technical skill they needs to be aware of uh, operating system like os or uh, like operating system like linux Uh, and then they need to be aware of mac also windows also that they need to be aware of programming language networking and also when it comes to non technical skills they needs to know the time management and they needs to know all the tools and all they needs to know about how to use all those things so this information security control this is nothing but like when you are going for your uh, hacking it will reduce the risk for your organization from unwanted occurrence in your website or stuff so if you want to be a hacker you need to be expert in programming language network and you need to be an expert in time management everything so when you are an expert in all the things you will get a better scope and better job openings everything for ethical hacking thank you